Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to another video. So a little while ago I purchased this We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and I did create a video showing you how to create the envelope, the bow and the box. I will pop a link up in the corner to that video. So in that video, like I said, we created this box and this is the box here that we made in the video and I was really, really impressed with this box. So it's going to be absolutely perfect for gifts uh, if you don't want to just put something in an envelope or into a card or a bag or whatever, you know, you can make these really beautiful boxes. These also make fabulous um, sort of like wedding favour boxes as well to pop on the table. Loads and loads of different uses for these boxes and what I really love was the fact that you could create three different sizes using this punch board. So what we're going to do today is actually make all four sizes because when I created this box, like I said, I was really surprised at how good it was. And I've been thinking about creating uh, almost like a mini album. So having a box inside a box inside a box um, and sort of decorating it with pictures, with, you know, lots of different sort of embellishments and things that we've, you know, got in our craft room. I thought it would make a really fantastic uh, gift. Like I said, pop some photographs in there. If you know someone perhaps who's just had a baby, I thought that would be perfect. So that's what we're going to have a go at making today. So again, using this one, two, three punch board, it's got all of the instructions and the sizes you need to create the boxes. So again, this makes four boxes. So we are going to be making all four of those. So let me show you the papers we're going to be using. So I've picked papers from this Craft Sensation design pad, and this is florals and some of the designs are foiled as well so you have seen me um, pull papers out of this pack previously and I just think they're absolutely beautiful so I've already picked a bunch out um, and I've actually already cut them as well so these are the papers that we're going to be using to create today's boxes. So you can see that I've got this really beautiful um, sort of a floral pattern. This is going to be our largest box and this is going to be on the outside. This is also only single sided cardstock. So if you had single sided, obviously then you're going to have a pattern on the inside. It means maybe you don't have to decorate as much on the inside. But um, so these are just single sided. So I've got this one for our biggest box. So our largest box needs to be 12 inches so um, I haven't had to cut this down this is just a 12 by 12 um, piece of paper then I've picked this really beautiful sort of circle foiled um, design here so this is going to make our large box and this has been cut to 10 inch square so again I've already chopped that one down the next one we're going to have is our medium is this really beautiful daisy patterned paper and this is 8 inch so I really wanted to go with sort of a variety of um, papers and I wanted to go with some different designs so it didn't all sort of blend in too much together so you could sort of tell the difference then our last paper so this is going to make our small box this was cut to 6 inch and again then this is going to be our center box so we're creating a box inside a box um, and so there'd be four of them so again we've got a really then beautiful variety of papers that all go together but that are all different so that's our papers and we've already got our paper trimmed down so let's go ahead and start creating our first box and we're going to start with our biggest um, extra large box and that is then going to be our 12 by 12 inch cardstock so I'm going to set up my punch board, I'm going to bring out the extended arm, we might not necessarily need that but it's good just to have it out in case, obviously we have got our scoring tool which is housed on the right hand side here and we've got our lid open so we can see all of the instructions. So for our extra large box you can see here so if we just read through the instructions we've trimmed our paper already we're going to align the left edge to the small medium or line box start line so again depending on what size you are going to be creating then it says score and punch box score line a and b so again we're going to be making our extra large so our start line is going to be at the extra large line so I'm going to line it up with this line here, we're going to punch and then it says that we are going to score. So if I just take that out a second, you can see you've got box line A here and box line B here. So again, we did need that extended arm. 
so let's just line that back up we've got a notch here within our punch and we're just going to score down and meet up with score line a we're going to move over to our score line b so we've got this next notch here so you've got three notches in there and we've used one for line a and then we're going to use the second one so more of the center one for our score b so we're going to score all the way down just like that then um instruction number five is score medium small medium or large or extra large box score at score line c so up here we've got box score line c so again we're making our extra large box so we're gonna score down until there is no more score line and that score line is going to match up with our score line b just like so then we're going to rotate the paper 90 degrees counterclockwise and we're just going to repeat the process so we're going to turn we are going to line our cardstock back up with box start line extra large we're going to punch we're going to score down A, we're going to score down B, and we're going to score down the extra large for C. We're going to rotate again, line up with the extra large, punch, score A, score B score C at extra large and rotate again start line so it's so easy once you know what you're doing you know you can make these and they just don't take very long at all the only thing you want to make sure is that you just stay in the line so that is our extra large box. So what I'm going to do before then we move on to the next step of creating this box, I'm actually going to score all of my other boxes um, and then we can sort of just repeat the process rather than coming back and forth. So now let's read the next instruction. So let's bring in our arm. So next we've so we've repeated it for all sides. So we're going to flip the paper and align according to step three. We're going to punch four additional notches into our cardstock. So three was align each edge with the small, medium or large, depending on what size box. So we'll take our small. So we just um, flipped it over. We're lining up with our box start line and it's just gonna take that extra notch out. So if you are making multiples of this, I personally would um, do it almost like a production line where you do, um, so we have cut it all first, then we've gone in and scored, now we're going in and putting all our notches in. Me personally, I just think it's quicker that way. So now onto our medium. So just putting those extra notches in there. Onto our large. So you will notice if you can see here you've got that tiny little square uh, uh, corner there from where you've scored it all it's doing is just taking out that little notch so it'll just come together a lot easier so that is our large and then on to our extra large So the last notch here so that is that step all done so again it doesn't take very long if you do it in that sort of production line way so the next step to do so we've punched all of our additional notches add splits to all the corners with the corner splitter I'm actually going to rotate this over because on this little back side here you have got two additional punches so this side is the corner rounder so which is perfect for um, finishing off your envelopes or well, this side you have got the corner splitter and that's then what allows your flaps to kind of interlock with each other so let's go ahead and pop these in so all we're going to do is just buddy it up against both of the edges 
and we just put a little split into our um, sort of closing mechanism. Then all we need to do is fold our box together. So let's just move our punch board to the side. So first of all, I'm gonna pull this piece in. And again, then we're gonna take our score tool, get a really nice crease in that, open it back up, and then we're just gonna go along and do the same for all of the sides. So we do the bigger sides, open it back up, here so now we've got those four pieces we're going to go ahead and just fold over our flaps like so and then these corner pieces here they fold in on themselves so if you just sort of fold one side here sort of bring this over it's gonna put that fold in for you. So all I was doing then is lining up this edge here with the crease that's along here. That's gonna create the outside piece to your box, just cause I wanna make sure that that lines up nicely. So if I just move that flap so you can see, and all I'm gonna do is just burnish that there. That is then our folding mechanism. So again, I'm gonna fold it here so this is our flap here i'm going to fold along here and then i'm going to bring this piece up and that is going to put that crease in for us and what i really love about this is you don't need any adhesive or anything to assemble this box it's literally just folding so what we can do then, so we've, we've folded all of our edges, so all I've done there is just taken the little slits that we punched in, they are then going to interlock to hold that piece together, we're just going to interlock that. So this cardstock is 250 GSM, so this is a really fantastic way, so I think this one that we made previously is a lot thinner um, that's probably only I want to say maybe about 160 GSM so it's a lot more flimsy but if you use a really good card base so like I said this is a uh, 250 you could use a 300 or a 350 um, but this will create a really really sturdy box and then because the other cardstock is the same weight by the time you add this together this is going to be such a lovely solid box and also when you come to decorate the inside because you're going to be adding papers to um, these four edges here again it's going to make it super super sturdy so there's those let's do our very last one <clears throat> this would be perfect like I said this size for wedding favors I know like things like sugared almonds are very traditional um, but if you wanted to put any other sort of sweets or anything like that like I said this uh, this tiny box would be perfect just in the center of um, you know your dressed table or you could use it as a place names you could put your um, your seating names on here as well so there's loads and loads of things that you could use these boxes for if you're giving somebody jewelry perfect just put that one together so there we have our four size boxes so this is the first time I've created um, the small medium and large obviously uh, the only time that I've created the other box was in that previous video um, and that was the extra large but I just think this is so cute and actually creating these now what I think I might do is make some Christmas decorations um, and I might make some just some Christmas boxes they don't have to be filled with anything but as just some decorations maybe to go on the, under the tree on your mantelpiece whatever the case may be these smaller boxes you could use as advent uh, uh, you know as an advent calendar you can put little treats in it you could make a garland you could add this on um, just with some string and add it onto a wreath or something really really beautiful so I think there's you know there's loads that you could do with these boxes so let's go ahead and pop 
this together. So all I'm going to do is, because then this is going to sit in the centre, I'm happy to have the white um, there because then like I said I'm going to decorate the inside with some panels and we're going to have like a white border around that anyway so I'm not too worried about that. Um, so let's just undo all of our boxes. So as you open it up, like I said, so you could then put sort of photographs um, on these pieces here. So when the boxes are closed, then obviously you can see sort of the photos or the decorations uh, underneath there. So to stick these down, I'm going to use some double sided tape. So what I'm going to do is take my first box and in our centre square, I'm going to pop some double sided tape. You could use, again, if you're, you know, creating something really special that you want somebody to keep for a long time, I would recommend maybe using something like like red liner tape or you know just something really really strong um, that's going to hold this all together so I'm going to go three pieces down the center like so so let's just move this out of the way so let's bring our medium box in so what I'm actually going to do is just put our box back together like so and then I'm gonna position it in the middle like so so I'm happy with that so that and you know that's really well stuck now so let's just undo that one lay this one out flat so what you could do is put your tape down first before um, you stick the smaller one inside it um, that might be a little easier but I'm just going to do it this way just to show you oh let's put a box together so I'm not going to worry about putting the inside actually if I just do the one oh, now it's stuck to me that so then let's bring in our large just take the tape off the back was almost in the middle so again let's just so now we've got the last one let's pop our tape on the back here Let's put all of our boxes together like so. So you've got a nice bit of gap in there as well um, around that box again to add some dimension inside whatever you're decorating with. If you've got sort of paper flowers things like that it's going to be perfect. You'll have a really great amount of space. So again, you can see my sort of flaps here um, have sort of split a little bit again. That's because I've been a little heavy handed when I've come to um, actually scoring this cardstock. So now let's close up our large box. Like so. So let's bring in our extra large. Let's take our tape off. Let's try and get this one in the middle. Ooh. Like so. And there we have all four boxes. So if you was to give somebody that as a gift, 
and that is really sturdy now actually as well so certainly on the bottom but again if when you start adding the panels into the sides that is going to be even more sturdy again on those side panels so if you're giving that as a gift like i said all they're going to do is just unravel it so decorating in the middle pictures again whatever the case may be then you can go in to the next layer it's almost like a really lovely version of past the parcel then we've got our next box again so you can see what's inside it you could even decorate these little corner pieces if you wanted to again if you've got double-sided paper you're not going to need to do that again if you want to decorate this you can um I, I don't know if i'd be worried too much about that but i think i would decorate it and just see how it looked then we can go in to our next box so again, more decorations, more pictures, whatever the case may be. And it could be maybe if you're doing this as a present, maybe, for example, it's someone's 18th birthday. Um, you know, you're creating this, you're going to put lots of um, photographs, memories and things inside there. You could then take this really tiny box and you could have, you know, a piece of jewellery, um, whatever, you know, the gift is going to be, and it's inside there. And I just think that then is just such a beautiful keepsake. Again, we've used really beautiful papers. If you, you know, go through your cardstock and see what papers you've got, I just think you can create something so beautiful. So let me show you what we've done just to kind of finish this off a little bit. So obviously I'm not going to decorate this all up um, today. Obviously this is just to show you what you can do using the the, um, we are memory keepers. We are memory keepers. One, two, three. Punch board, creating the boxes. So all I've done is just decorated the inside slightly. So all I've done is just pop some squares on here. So if I was going to actually be making this, you know, for a gift for someone, I think I'd probably be inclined to use double-sided paper because obviously there's a lot of white. And that's you're going to go in and decorate, you know, these sections and um, these pieces here. I would rather have sort of a fuller look. So again, just my personal preference. I think I'd rather use that double-sided paper. So I've just put some pink squares in here. Then going down to the next level. I've just added some lilac. So again, like I said, it's just a lot of white. Um, then if we open up our medium box, then I've just taken a darker shade of purple. And then again, for our small... I've popped a really nice blue and I have done then a centerpiece in there as well. So again, like I said earlier, if you're going to use this as, as this smaller box as um, sort of to put your gift in and things, obviously just decorating that up a little bit more. But again, like I said, just a lot of white space in there. Maybe I might have sort of mixed up so you didn't have the two purples together. But like I said, it just comes down to how exactly you want this um, to actually look. So a couple of other ways you could finish this box up. So again, so this needs to really be the top of the box because um you know you don't want to then if you've got something in it especially you wouldn't want to have it sort of upside down or anything like that um because you wouldn't want anything to sort of fall out you want people to open it how you've designed it so this is going to be the top so <clears throat> so when it comes to decorating um obviously you need to sort of think about that so i've created here just a bow so again that is using the uh one two three punch board this is the extra large so i've just created this using some cardstock to be honest this particular cardstock is too um it's too thick because it's not um, bent. All it's done, sort of giving it a nice curl. All that it's done is giving it a really sort of harsh angle and it's kind of creased the card socks. Again, this is too thick. This is probably about 250, 300 GSM. So I wouldn't recommend using um, this sort of thickness. But again, you can make the bows. The bows are going to be a perfect addition to go onto your box. However, how would you attach that to then be able to still open the box? Like I said, you you know you might want to um sort of pop it on the side or on the bottom but again if you were to put that on the bottom it needs to open this way it's not really going to work so the only idea that i really came up with of stuff that i had sort of in my craft room was to use a velcro dot so because this is really nice and flat if you popped a velcro dot here um so it would be sort of roughly there you could then centralize it really nicely and all you'd have to do is then just take the bow off 
and you'd be able to pop it back on with the velcro if it was if it was just a decorative box obviously it doesn't matter um but for me i mean you guys might come up with other ideas but for me to be able to then take that on and off um i think a velcro dot would probably be one of the easiest ways alternatively obviously you could get some ribbon so i mean i this is just ribbon i've got lying around so i haven't cut this um down but you could decorate the whole box so again if i was doing this properly i would probably then um stick this bottom bit down or at least stick the sides down so then when they opened it it wouldn't uh the ribbon wouldn't come off completely it would still be on but you could then create a really really nice bow so my bow making skills aren't really very good um let's just see what we can do and the other thing is because i'm left-handed i know I, I always talk about being left-handed uh because i'm left-handed i do struggle with things like this um i will just leave that up that way i mean that's that side is the wrong way but you kind of you get the idea so again then you could have a really beautiful bow ribbon on the top then when you're giving this as a gift like i said if you then adhered the sides down so it didn't come apart completely um it was still on there really nicely i mean and you wouldn't even need to do this as well if you just had a single piece actually attached to your box going each way you could then maybe just add the bow to the top you know whatever however you want to sort of decorate it but again then you've got a really beautiful um bow on the top of that perfect for then that finishing touch so i said i might make some just some christmas box decorations you know that would be so beautiful in a really nice sort of christmas paper with then a beautiful christmas ribbon i think that would be perfect so that's it for this video um like i said i am planning to create one of these in the future so i might sort of show you um sort of the finished product uh when i've made one if not definitely through my social media platforms um but yeah so this is the box using the we are memory keepers one two three punch board and again then all we've done is created all four size boxes along with that really beautiful bow that it creates um just one inside the other that is going to be perfect for any sort of memory box um any sort of gift as a mini scrapbook album type thing um i think this is going to be absolutely perfect for it so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos thanks very much for watching and happy crafting